How are we doing, everybody? It is another video where I just bash on Steam. So if you don't want to watch, hear me bash the Steam, you could just slam that dislike button or stop the video. But this time we're talking about the Steam library and how god fucking awful it is. It's just god fucking awful. I don't understand who thought this was a good idea. This literally puts it at the bottom of the list of the most you. I guess. It, it, it's the fucking most useless fucking launcher I've ever seen. Why is all my fucking games here? Why? Recently played. There is no... I don't know which one's installed. I legit do not know which one's installed. Unless I look over here and find out if it's gray or white. There's no option to filter out. Uh, not that I see. So we got games here. We got unorganized, all games, recent games, friends, activity, collection, view. What is this collection view? Sweet. Nope, that's uh, this is, that's stupid. Here we go. We got the, another tier. Uh, it, it's just like, <coughs> like, why? Why is this like this? <coughs> so, originally, if you had it in the detailed view, uh, you, you would see your list of games here and then have this, this kind of window here of just, like, achievements, who's playing, who has this game, time played, uh, news related to the game, and some other kind of screenshots and all that shit. Very useful, very minimalistic, and also extremely gave me a lot of ideas. But you could also change it to way, hey, uh, you could have it just a grid of icons like this or a mix, and, and it was kind of cool. But then you have this. This is just god fucking awful. Um, I, I just like cannot fucking comprehend how shitty this is. It, it's like right, right off the bat, right off the bat, you can see that all the games are here. All the games are my library for the past like fucking 15 years on Steam. And you can see that, you know, hmm, some icons are full portrait while others are in a landscape but then blurred out through the rest so why is that like why is that why is brink like that but not call of duty multiplayer like this it's just it, it's kind of confusing on which one gets it darksiders 2 uh get doesn't get it but D darksiders does get it darksiders war master also gets it it's just what the fuck like what the fuck um that that at this that's just a quick thing. Also, over to our left, you see all the fucking unorganized games. I used to use my games in order, but hey, it's just like, how do you order them? Like, what kind of organization do you do? You like RPGs, first-person shooters, your CODs, and all that, your GTAs. But then I just found it better. It's like, you know what? Just have it in alphabetical order, and then put your favorites like American Truck Simulator, Doom, Grand Theft Auto, Hitman, No Man's Sky, Path of Exile. These are at the top, which are also then organized in alphabetical order. But if I wanted to say play something that was installed on my game on my computer, which um, I have no idea what, what game is on my computer, just right off the bat, right off the bat, I don't see all my. I know that American Trucks Limited, Divinity Original Sin, Doom, Hitman 2, and Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege is also installed. But what else is also installed? Ashenir is installed. Banish is installed. So it's not an instant kind of feedback. Um, I've heard that they've said, hey, in the beta version of Steam, you they've made it so you can go back to the original thing, but like, like, okay, so I guess you show it ready to, ready to play, I guess, but that, that's just like a, such a shitty, a shitty thing, though. Why not just have all the games kind of installed, like, before, like... I'm okay with this. This is not bad. This is when you launch the game. When you launch the game, it's not bad. But if you want to, like, why? Why are they doing this? It, like, look at this stuff. It's just all of this shit. It just, it just blows my fucking mind away. Like, some of these games are not even playable anymore. Like, it's, like, I don't need to know <clears throat> all these shitty memes a lot of these dead games have like shitty memes um and it, it's just it, it it like really fucking boggles my mind what's going on at valve you know so let's see dirt three you know just some more shitty memes 
And of course, you have to hit the back button if you want to like actually go back. There's like no. I feel like that back button should be a little bit easier to navigate, not in the middle of fucking nowhere. So what happens if I click this? Okay. It's like why have two modes of navigating your game list? <sighs> So they got little, they got trackers here. So we're gonna have the trading cards. Which games have the trading cards? Um, single player. So this is actually kind of cool, though. I like this competitive, cooperative multiplayer. I wonder if they factor factor multiplayer and competitive in the same thing. Yeah, they do. Hmm. Or cooperative. That's interesting. So literally, every. Huh. Wait, no. If you look closely, Astroneer. So Astroneer is a cooperative game, but it's not a multiplayer game. Hmm, interesting. Um, installed locally. Okay. Ready to play. So these would be games that are on the network that you could stream to you, which is actually not cool. It's pretty cool. Oh, games I haven't played. Um, wow. Actually, holy shit. These are games I've never played. That's actually fucking crazy. Um, so here's your software, which don't care. Zinbound, seven co-op. Interesting. This is actually very interesting. SOS Classic, Sonic the Hedgehog one and two, Sonic Adventure, maybe a new series where play a game that I have bought and never played. That's actually, that's actually pretty cool. Um, how, how's these RPGs? So some of these genres. Some people, I've made this point before of just people making stupid genres like horror games or like, it, it's stupid. Indie games. Let's see here. I mean, technically Grand Theft Auto is an indie game. You know? Yeah, that's good. Well, technically, I mean, we got to define what an indie game is because this is now published by Ubisoft now, which is not, a, not really an indie game. It used to be an indie game. So I'm curious how they handle that. Massive multiplayer? Hmm. I wonder what that means. What is gigantic? Is this game even still running? Is this... Is this game still active? Okay. <laughs> Got it. And let's see. Racing games. Audio Surf. I wouldn't count that as a racing game. Cross out. Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. Your truck simulator, Carfield Kart, Throw Danger, Midnight Club. Yeah, I would count these as a racing games, really. Um, I wouldn't call Sonic Adventure a racing game. Where does it say racing game? Is that a? How is this? Like you're racing for time? I, I, it's just some of the, some of that shit doesn't make any sense. Renegade Ops, definitely not a racing game. Um, <sighs> some of this shit is so stupid. It, like, literally boggles my mind. Strategy games, what do we got here? Um, Arma, Arma is not a strategy game. It's a tactical game. I mean, at that point, everything's a strategy game. Braid is not a strategy game. Um, bad, a lot of these are actually not, <laughs> Counter-Strike is not a strategy game. Holy fuck. Divinity 2, I would say, is a strategy game, because you have to strategize where you put your characters, uh, strategy, what is it, tactical strategy, um, RPG? Either Star is not a, um, strategy game. It's the EVE Online, not a strategy game. Elite Dangerous, not on a strategy game. Like, we need to define what a strategy game is, because literally, if you're having Counter-Strike, and... Uh, I get, You know what? Hitman? One, Hitman, I would totally call a strategy game. Kerbal Space Program, not a strategy game. <sighs> Jackbox Party Pack, not a strategy game. Are you fucking kidding me? How is this a strategy game? How is this a strategy game? Uh, but you get my drift. I don't think this is good. 
I think they have kind of screwed the pooch on this. I guess you could add your own tags. These are all just kind of dynamic shit, but... Uh, it blows my mind what they're doing at Valve. They are literally the number one distributor of games. They're the, probably one of the biggest kind of developers out there that actually has not made a video game in quite a long time. Outside of Underlords, which seems to be just a clone... You know, they haven't really made anything since Port 2. So. God damn. I like, like, shit like this is why I don't boot up my, my, you know, Steam. You know, it's just. They still haven't really made a game for their fucking VR. Like, they made a, like, a Playhouse thing, which was kind of cool. But they haven't invested real money into it. It's just. Ugh. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Why is this... Eh, yeah, whatever. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.